Hi, my wonderful Virgos. I hope all is well. This is your next 72 hour psychic predictions. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'm happy you stopped by. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Please don't forget to hit the like button, okay? Hit subscribe. All right, for Virgo, what's going on with Virgo in the next 72 hours, two week ahead? Thank you. We have the 10th house right here. Their obstacle. <laughs> Virgo, you're your obstacle, okay? Um, let's see. And Virgo's blessing. Virgo's blessing. Okay, let's see. Okay, Virgo, so what I'm getting right here for your next 72 hours to a week ahead is you guys are really focused on your 10th house, your reputation, your career. That is mainly what you're focused on. I'm getting the word empire. This says empire at the bottom. Um, you're focused on building an empire. I'm also getting something to do with king and queen status for someone who's watching this video. Um, like a Beyonce and Jay-Z status. I'm getting someone's focused on that that's watching this video. I am getting for um, your 10th house, there is some type of windfall. There's some type of um, positive turn of events within the next 72 hours to a week ahead when it comes to your 10th house, all right? Some type of positive um, turn of events I'm getting. I am seeing for your obstacle, Virgo, is it's you. I'm sorry, my son is getting into stuff. Stop. It's actually you. Uh, make sure that you're not being so much a, so much of a perfectionist, okay? Because Virgos can be a bit of a perfectionist. I know this because I'm a Virgo son, <laughs> okay? Um, something about being a perfectionist and being like nervous. Um, you need to balance your nervous energy in the next 72 hours to a week ahead. Make sure you take a walk. Um, you're exercising. Something about getting that nervous energy under control. Um, and for some of you, you may be very nervous because there is a turn of events, a positive turn of events when it comes to um, your career. All right. I am seeing your ninth house. Um, this is your blessing. Okay. So you're getting blessings in the ninth house. I feel like for some of you, you're going to get a blessing of foreign travel to be able to travel somewhere where I'm seeing like a, um, I'm really drawn to the passport here in the camel. Maybe some of you are going to Egypt. Um, I'm getting for some of you, I am getting know why i'm saying this i'm i don't know what the heck this is but i'm seeing pilgrims okay i don't know why i'm seeing pilgrims something to do with pilgrims in the next 72 that's really weird i don't know what this is but something to do with pilgrims i'm getting i don't know i don't <laughs> i don't know what this is um and then we have your higher education you guys are going to be expanding your knowledge and that's a wonderful blessing because as you expand your knowledge that brings more into your life all right I'm also getting something to do with your beliefs. Um, you getting blessed off of your beliefs, expanding your beliefs, um, basically having an open mind and not being extremely judgmental. I don't know why I'm getting that, but there's something that's going to bring you a blessing because you're you're like that. Um, expanding on your beliefs and not just being like closed-minded. All right. Let's see what else is happening for my Virgos in the next 72 What else is happening for my Virgos? We have plenty of material things. So you're going to be feeling like you have everything you need. All right. We also have the rat here. Ooh, hater, hater, hater. We have a rat. We have someone working against you behind your back. You do have someone um, working against you behind your back. But please don't be paranoid. This person... They're not going to prosper, okay? They're not going to prosper. They're going to get what's theirs, all right? So don't even worry about someone working behind your back, but there is someone that's being, like, ridiculous. Um, I am getting the message of frenemies. Some of you have, like, frenemies. Um, like I said, I think it was in my Sagittarius video last week, if someone's showing signs that they are a little jealous of you and you still love them, make sure that you love them from a distance because they can actually mess up things for you okay you may not need to be 
may not need to be as close to them. Like listen to their, look at their body movements when you tell them good news. Um, how do they respond when you tell them good news? Do they just kind of blow it off and change the, um, like change the subject, stuff like that? Pay attention to that type of person, okay? You need to kind of remove them from your energy. All right, what else, Virgo? What else for Virgo? We have involvement with the law right here. So we do have involvement with some type of law. I kind of want to pull what exactly this is. What is this involvement with the law? Why is involvement with the law here? Do I want to pull one of these or do I want to pull another? thing? I don't know. Okay, what is this involvement with the law? Okay. So basically, this is telling me, Virgo, you guys, because we have the justice system again, um, you're trying to um, resolve something when it comes to the law with some type of law in your area or how you do something, um, trying to do something within the law so it's not illegal, which you're not even trying to do anything illegal. Um, but there's something to do because this card is basically about a woman who uses a different wand. She puts down the old wand and she's using it a different one to tackle something there there's some type of thing that you're trying to um tackle to fix but you need it to be within the law like you're learning the laws of something i'm getting something about maybe educating yourself when it comes to the law um to get the fair the best outcome for yourself in a situation or maybe you're looking up something um to do with like the law for like a friend or something like that Okay. I'm also getting something to do with finders keepers. I have no idea what this means, but I'm getting finders keepers as well. Now, let me go ahead and pull a message from Spirit. See a message from Spirit. I don't know why Spirit's coming through, but I'm getting something about glory days. That's for someone that's watching something about the glory days. I haven't heard that in a while. Um, another message for Virgo. They're saying shine bright like a diamond. Um, that's your message. We have healing right here. So it says you've been through a difficult initiation, which has prepared you for the role of a healer. Don't <laughs> doubt your power, okay? Don't doubt your power. You've been being prepared for the role of a healer. All right, let me go ahead and get some channel messages and we will be done. Yeah, be careful what you tell others. And I'm noticing the way it landed right here. Um, be careful what you're telling others because there's someone that you could be telling something to that actually wants to work behind your back, okay? Because they're jealous of you and they're a loser and they have nothing to do with it. Oh my gosh, they don't have a life, basically. It makes me want to go off. I can't stand people like this, but hey, it is what it is. It says slow down on your spending, all right? There's a need for you to slow down on your spending, Virgo. And I feel like you're going to. Okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay, baby. Shut the door. And then it says pay attention to your dreams, all right? Pay attention to your dreams at night. You're getting messages in your dreams. All right, Virgo, if you like this reading, hit the thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you really like it, and I'll talk to you guys later.